Let's talk about symmetry. Um, the graph of an equation is symmetric about the y-axis if replacing if replacing x with negative x <coughs> yields a similar equation. I guess I really shouldn't say similar, I should say equivalent. So the way you can see if something has symmetry about the y-axis, if you, all you have is the equation, if you replace x with negative x and it still is the same thing, then that's symmetry about the y-axis. Now, similarly, you can talk about symmetry about the x-axis. So the graph of an equation is symmetric about the x-axis if replacing y with negative y yields an equivalent equation. So we're talking about symmetry about, about the y-axis, symmetry about the x-axis. And we'll, I'll show you some examples here in just a moment. But it's saying if you replace y with negative y, um, and it still is the exact same equation, then you have symmetry about the x-axis. Unfortunately, if you have symmetry about the x-axis, you also probably do not have a what? What? You don't have a function, right? Because if I have something above the y above the x-axis and the same thing is below the x-axis, I'm going to fail what? The vertical line test. Now, not everything that has x-axis symmetry is non is not a function. There is an example of a function that is symmetric about the x. Well, if you had a function that was like that other one where it's giving you the Three different, what do you call it? Piece-wise defined function? Yeah. That still has to pass the vertical line test. Yeah, but like that last one that we did, that all passed the vertical line test. Oh, but it wasn't symmetric. Right. Let's talk about origin symmetry. If replacing x and y with negative x and negative y yields an equivalent equation. Okay. Uh, so just you know, a few quick examples for you. If I have this, if I have y equals <coughs> x squared plus 7. Let's talk about its symmetry. If I replace x with negative x, what happens here? What does this guy become? Isn't that still x squared plus 7? So if I replace x with negative x and it doesn't change the equation, then what type of symmetry will I have? No, what did I just write down? Just x. See, origin symmetry is if you replace x and y at the same time with negative x and negative y. I replaced x with negative x. Symmetry is uh, y, y I have y-axis symmetry. So the conclusion here is I have y 
axis symmetry. Well, what if I try to check x-axis symmetry? x-axis symmetry says replace y with negative y. So if I do <coughs> negative y instead, well, that means negative y equals x squared plus 7. Is that the same as my original? I is it even a derivative of my original? Like, if I multiply, if I divide it by negative 1, do I get back to my original? No. So this guy, um, so no. no x-axis symmetry. What if I replace the y with negative y and the x with negative x? Is it the same as my original? What does this give me? Negative y equals Is that the same as my original? So there is no There's no origin symmetry. So the only type of symmetry that this graph exhibits is y-axis symmetry, which you should know that because what is the shape of this guy? It's a parabola. It's a parabola. Has it been shifted left or right? No. It's been shifted up seven, so it still maintains that symmetry about the y-axis, right? right. 